The motor car. Millions of them. All sizes, but roughly the same shape. Loved and worshipped by some, even hated by a few. But if you turn your back, they won't go away. What does the motor car mean to us? Well, it's sometimes a source of leisure for the family. Or basic transport for busy mothers and kids. Other cars are used as workhorses around the clock. Or to go fast for the younger generation and more slowly for the middle age. So, if motor cars are all things to all men and women, then a new car must be a whole lot more than a passing fancy, an impulsive purchase. This is the story of a new car, a new Ford car for the world to drive. It started over three years ago, and if all you drivers watch closely, you will see the part you played in this. Engineering drawings in English and German came into their own, and the very first prototype bodies began to take shape, section by section. As the huge body program gathered momentum, a massive amount of precise and detailed engineering was already underway on the new car's chassis and mechanical sections. I think the customer today is looking for a low sleepy car that holds the road so much better than uh, the usual old-fashioned box type car. Um, From the maximum chance of 90. We can't tip it over on an angle because the pendulum doesn't work. In the engine build workshops, one machine costing close to a million pounds worked under numerical control as it performed the dozens of automatic functions to produce the prototype engine blocks required for the program. Under the surface of paraffin, the Sparkatron machine bombarded already tempered metal to produce diamond hard exotic shapes for the gear trains. of the prototypes began to appear, a huge testing program got underway. In refined laboratory areas in England and Germany, every component, each piece of the body, all working parts were twisted, distorted and tortured around the clock on test wheels. These special machines were built only to stress and test the thousands of components that make up the modern car, day in, day out, for month on end, as a key date in the schedule drew near.
Now all the pieces have been put together, and for the first time there is a chance to see the result in tangible shape. The first of the prototypes. Top Ford executives now help to prove the first prototypes in alpine conditions. Help to prove in high altitudes braking systems developed under their supervision. These men were involved in all aspects from day one, and they continue to be involved and committed to the prototypes throughout every stage. While the cars were in the mountains, in over 50 dynamometer cells in Essex, engine tests were still being carried out on the whole new range of overhead camshaft engines as refinements and modifications were approved. Modern driving conditions, seeing is safety. Good all-round visibility is essential. A quieter part of the testing program was in the visibility room, where the original design was checked and confirmed. Complicated vibration tests were set up to stress the prototype, while delicate instruments recorded and assessed the efficiency of each separate part. Another complete prototype was set up in a wind tunnel to undergo a series of tests at wind speeds, well in excess of anything the final cars will have to face. With its rear wheels running on rollers, the prototype was subjected to anything from a scorching desert wind to a freezing Arctic gale. The requirement of the whole project from the start had been to produce a quieter car. Because of this, in a specially designed anechoic chamber, the vehicle was run on a road simulator. Every known surface condition was fed in by tapes, while sound engineers recorded and plotted sound levels from a mass of microphones. cars must satisfy owners in the northern hemisphere as well as in the rest of the world. So other prototypes were set to start and run in cold rooms where controllers stood at 35 degrees below zero. Prototypes had also to be proved out in Arctic conditions by teams of drivers backed up by sophisticated instruments who knew how and where to search for any hidden weaknesses.
We live in an age concerned for its environment, and air pollution is a word we are hearing more and more. Legal requirements on exhaust emission are continually tightening, and were high on the priority list of this program. Ford tape recorded the worst roads in the world to reproduce under laboratory conditions prototype suspension tests. Only the toughest of roads can lead to the best suspension, and the suspension geometry of this new car is one of the most important aspects of the entire concept. In Germany, a vital part of the research and engineering headquarters is a very comprehensive test track. Here, engineers can drive a prototype straight from the laboratory, run a series of really punishing tests, and be back within minutes to examine the results. by accident avoidance and injury reduction was a factor of total involvement. Safety engineers worked on the project from the beginning, linking with designers, engineers and planners, deliberately smashing costly prototypes to assess, measure and prove out safety factors inherent in the design. But endless mechanical tests are a barren thing without the long and final stages of the prototype's life as a real car on real roads. Not just straight runs on tarmac, but tens of thousands of miles on the most comprehensive test tracks in the world, including the Ford Proving Ground at Lommel in Belgium, a vast man-made complex that creates every known surface and condition that today's family car market demands to put to the test all that design and engineering has produced. A sophisticated, highly refined product of the best brands and best facilities of Britain and Germany. These are prototypes now destined for production, designed to replace the most successful British car ever, the Cortina. A new Cortina, Ford's answer to five million questions. I think the company that I was looking for a lot of sleepy parts of the road. High top speed, nice torsion speeds. The seat comfort's important. All round visibility and positive steering. Good road holding. Very reliable. Quiet in the driving seat. Good capacity. Good great. Good great. Good great.